Hey everybody, it's Keith with Bob CNC here today again with my best friend Bob. And I'm here today with my best friend Keith. And we are going to talk about uh, testing circuitry okay. using a voltmeter. That's a voltmeter. And Bob wanted me to go into detail to explain, uh, especially to you who have never used a voltmeter, how to use one. Yeah. So here's what I would do. Explain it, Bob. <laughs> That's not very good. At well, all. that's exactly it. This well, is not my kind of thing. Well, you know, most 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 voltmeters, Vol most. right? But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you buy a digital one, they'll basically have a, a volts DC, so they'll have one that has a straight line, a bunch of little dotted lines. Look at that, right there. Oh, I right? see that. Yeah, so that looks volts. like Morse code. Yeah, volts DC. Is that how you do it? Yeah. So Morse you code? set your voltmeter to there. Now, some of them may have to have a range. And why uh, am I setting it to DC? Uh, because our power supply is DC and our controller runs off of DC. Okay. Kind of like battery, except for it's plugged in the wall, converted to okay. DC, and then yeah. Do I need to know why? No, not really. Okay. But you know, we, uh, no, 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 right? no, no, no. I mean, My brain gets on overload really I quick. Know. You got like a couple brain cells that huh? are sharing information. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so uh, if you have your uh, a, a meter on volts DC, yes, then uh, and you have it in a range from uh, like some of them will be ten. That's a little bit too low because we're going to test twelve. So the next one will either be twenty-five or fifty. Some of them are automatic, but uh, the bottom line is is read the the manual. <laughs> right? and see yeah, I hear can, that a lot. Yeah, yeah, and see if you can find the uh, volts. So okay. so after that, so we have our v voltmeter to. Uh, uh, Automatic on ours. I feel like Vanna White. <laughs> yeah. You, you, no, you, no, no, you don't look like her at all. Go ahead. But anyway, uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to put the black uh, lead here, which is on connected where? to the common, to okay. the negative side of the blue terminal. Okay. And then you'll put the uh, which positive. Which is going to correspond to the way you've wired your machine. Absolutely. Yeah. Unless you haven't done it correctly. Yeah. Because you didn't read the manual. Well, in that case, you probably won't have anything here. Because <laughs> you would have fried it. Yeah. Correct. Actually, you'll still have it here. But, uh, but yeah. you know, on a voltmeter, by the way, you can connect it backwards. It's just going to show negative 12 volts. But uh, the proper way to do it is to put this on ground or the black on neutral. And then here we got positive. You should have about 12, 12 and a half volts. So the next thing that you can do if uh, your stuff and motors aren't locking up, that is basically why we would be doing this, is, is to check the fuse. So in between these top two uh, uh, drivers, and Christian will show you a picture that's a little bit better than this, uh, you can hit the top of it, and you'll see 12 and a half volts, and then you can hit the bottom of it, and you can see 12 and a half volts, right? So that's really, if you got that, then your controller's got power to it. And then uh, one more thing while we're here and we have a voltmeter, let's go ahead and show them how to set the current. Okay. So the rules for setting the current, USB power's got to be plugged in, this is plugged in, no stepper motor's plugged in. Uh, the reason for that is, is you can blow the fuse that we just talked about. All right, so to make this easier, if you have a little screwdriver with an alligator clip. Get away from me. <laughs> Ow, don't do that. That'll hurt. Yeah, safety when using alligator clips. Click that to your positive lead, right? And then, again, we're going to hold our negative lead here to the uh, blue side of the, or the negative side of the blue terminal. And then you will see this little potentiometer. I, okay. can't, I can spell that, too, by the way. Right? <laughs> yeah. I learned how. A long okay. time ago. I think my dad made me. But anyway. All right. You take it and put your screwdriver on the potentiometer, and then you watch your voltmeter, and you turn it. And we set our reference voltage to 0.65 volts. Uh, we say bet between 0.6 and 0.7. Uh, we we go for 0.65. 0 .65. Yeah, yes. well, plus or minus okay. 0 0.05 volts. I just wanted to That's show I was listening. Tolerance there. There's yes. tolerance. We There's need a, more you tolerance. Are, yes, we here, do. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, you want to set all of those. And again, uh, USB plugged in, power plugged in, stepper motors not plugged in. Right? What that actually does, and you can read about this, these are called uh, DRV8825 drivers. And that's a referent voltage that sets the current to the stepper motors. So if your stepper motors are running super hot, you know, maybe uh, they got set a little high. Uh, at our factory, you know, maybe uh, our power supply is 120 and yours is only 110 or the other way around. So the, you might need to adjust that reference voltage. Most of you won't need to. But if you do buy a new driver, 
or if you just uh, can't help yourself like me and got to play with stuff, yes. then uh, there you go. That's how we said it. Or break it. Or break it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, if you have any questions we can give you a hand with, you can get a hold of us at the help desk at bobcnc.com. That was a great explanation on that vote meter. I, I thought I did an excellent job. Great job. Hey, guys, till next time, thanks so much. Bye.